Alright, this is an iPad 4 home button connector repair. Um, I have my flameless or my cordless heat gun here, or uh, soldering iron, which I don't want to waste one of my good tips, so I'm just going to use this one. And uh, let's see how it goes. First time I've ever used it. And instead of using heat, because I don't want to burn this plastic up, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to melt this sucker. And uh, hopefully it will work. Don't mess anything, just kind of melt it. Okay. Just don't rip any pads. And we're good, really. Plastic, no one cares about the plastic. So that is good. Okay, that's good. And then I'll clean it up later with the, with my real soldering iron. It's a little bit bulky, so it's kind of a pain. And they got some. Okay, so let's. Definitely not a micro solder. You know what? I think I could probably. Yeah, let me get my other. I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to. You know what, let's get this off first. Alright, done. Yeah, I just need to make sure I get all this stuff off too. Oh, this is plastic. I think that should be fine. All right, that's fine. So let's get some flux on the home button. Uh, clean this up a little bit. Yep. Wrong iron. Alright, this should be a fairly easy connector repair here. Gosh, 
gosh, I need a book. You know what? I'm gonna. I gotta use my mini iron for the back ends because I don't want to burn the plastic up. So let's do this first. All right, that's solid. So just get the backs and we're good. Change my soldering iron. Just turn this around. All right, let's get a little flux. And... Alright, that should be pretty solid, so let me test it with my tweezer here. I'm going to put a little more in those two up front there. They look a little weak. All right, we're good. All right.
All right, so that's it right there. Everything tested good. I'm going to blow dry it, and that's it. Thanks for watching.